This girl is one of the survivors. I'm alive, I'm alive, she cries. She's surrounded by hundreds of dead and dying. All with no obvious injuries, no wounds, no blood. And whatever killed them didn't discriminate. Most of the bodies in this room are of babies and children. The number of victims from children and others is very high. I've carried in my own hands around 50 dead children. The worst thing about what happened is nature of the attack and the ignorance of people who didn't know what to do when the attack took place. Opposition groups say these people are the victims of attacks using chemical weapons, and they point the finger of blame at the Syrian government. Damascus denies it, saying the opposition's making false claims. The alleged chemical attack happened at around 3 a.m. on Wednesday morning. Government forces firing rockets loaded with some sort of chemical weapons into eastern Ghouta, an area of countryside east of the capital, Damascus. Many of those who survived were left gasping and suffering from a wide range of disturbing symptoms. Al Jazeera can't independently verify the video, but a chemical weapons expert who viewed it says there's evidence a toxic agent may have been released. The symptoms, the convulsions that we've seen in many of these um, casualties and, and pinpoint pupils, and also the rapidity of death uh, is very is usually synonymous with some sort of nerve agent. Sarin, a nerve agent, destroys your nerves, so your main bodily functions, heart, lung, etc., stop working, and that's why we see these statuesque pictures of the dead, very similar to what we saw in Halabja in 1988, where Saddam gassed the Kurds and killed 5,000 in the space of an hour. The attack coincides with a visit by 20 UN chemical weapons experts. They're in Damascus to investigate previous reports of chemical weapons, including an alleged incident at Karnalossal, where rebel forces allegedly used toxic gas. Syrian opposition groups want the UN team to conduct an independent investigation into what happened in eastern Ghouta. It's not the first time for the regime to use chemical weapons. Today's crime represents a cornerstone in the system of the regime to continue the killing of the Syrian people. But the Syrian government was quick to deny the reports. Everything that has been said is ridiculous, naive, unscientific, illogical and subjective. We mean what we are saying. There is not any use of that weapon at all. In New York, the Security Council president issued remarks that reflect the deeply divided nature of the Council on Syria. The members of the Security Council also welcomed the determination of the Secretary General to ensure a thorough, impartial and prompt investigations. 35 member nations have written to Secretary-General Ban Ki-moon urging him to widen the mandate of his investigation team on the ground in Syria to include looking at this latest alleged chemical attack. But because that will require permission from the Syrian government, it could take some time. Experts say time is of the essence. They fear crucial proof of the use of chemical weapons is being buried with those who succumb to it. John Terrett, Al Jazeera, at the United Nations.